So, a few days ago, Glue released the synopsis for episode 2 of season 5, Multiplication, and I actually found it quite interesting, and it kind of got me thinking, so basically what it says is, Marinette decides to give up her love for Adrian to avoid future disasters and focus on preparing to fight Monarch, but days pass and no acclimatized person appears. Has Monarch given up? And, like I said, I found it quite interesting. I mean, the beginning, not the end, because, I mean, clearly we know that Monarch hasn't given up. We literally saw an acclimatized villain with a miraculous, but the first part of of the synopsis definitely got me thinking about kind of the future of season five and what potentially could come. And I want to start off by saying that Marinette will not be getting over Adrian completely. I just think that it's very important to add that because you can't really control your feelings. You can't randomly wake up one day and say, I don't think I'm in love with this person anymore. Like even if you try to convince yourself that it's not possible, feelings kind of do their own thing. You can't control them. You can't pick and choose when you love someone and when you don't. And I know some people were a little bit scared once they read that because they were kind of sad that she wasn't going to be in love with him anymore, but you don't have to worry about that because she never has and she never will be. To me, this is probably going to be more of like a New York special type of situation where she's trying to convince herself that she doesn't love Adrian anymore, but in reality, she still does. Like no matter what she says, no matter what she does, she will always still be in love with Adrian. But that doesn't mean that she's not going to try to convince herself that she doesn't like him. I mean, like it said in the synopsis, she's trying to get over him to avoid future disasters like what happened in Strike Back. Like her feelings for Adrian were kind of her downfall. That's kind of the reason things happened. And she knows that. She realizes that her feelings for Adrian could genuinely cost them a lot. And as of right now, especially now that Monarch has a bunch of miraculous and he's really powerful, they can't afford to lose. She can't afford to do something like she did in Strike Back. And yes, was most of her problem because she was under risk control? Absolutely. But her feelings for Adrian did kind of play a really big role in that, and she knows that, and she doesn't want to do anything that could cause them their defeat. So honestly, I think that she's genuinely in the right place, and I can see where she's coming from. But like I said, this doesn't mean that she's going to stop liking Adrian. That doesn't mean that she's going to stop trying to pursue Adrian. She's just backing off and trying to convince herself that she doesn't like him, so that way no problems will occur. Which, like I said, is completely valid, and I agree with what she's doing. And to be honest, I think it's actually a really good thing that this happened. Why, you might ask? Well, that leads me to the next thing I wanted to talk about, kind of the whole reason that I'm making this video. Could her giving up open her eyes to see feelings that she has for someone else, and that someone else being Cat Noir? Because Ladybug has definitely loved Cat Noir from the beginning, and as seasons have gone on, she just starts to fall for him more and more, but she's never admitted to it or even like realized her feelings for Cat Noir. And one of the reasons why is because of Adrian. Her feelings for Adrian kind of blocked her from even thinking about being with anyone else. So now that the reason she couldn't even realize her feelings for Cat Noir is gone, could that mean that she could realize her feelings for him? And I'm not saying that she's going to ever try to pursue Cat Noir. I don't know that she's ever going to try to like accomplish anything with him, but that doesn't mean that she won't realize her feelings for him. And she also end up might convincing herself that Cat Noir is the better option because if you think about it, her love for Adrian kind of caused her downfall and strike back, but Cat Noir's love for Ladybug never caused any downfall when it comes to defeating a villain. So maybe that could be something that she tries to tell Alia. Like, let's say hypothetically, Alia knows that Marinette likes Cat Noir. Maybe she could try to tell Alia that like Cat Noir is the better option because with Adrian, it just caused so many problems. But with Cat Noir, they've never had any problems. I mean, yeah, they've had problems within their own relationship. But when it comes to defeating a villain, they've never had a problem. So obviously Cat Noir is the superior option. But kind of going back to Adrian, I think that maybe one of the things things that kind of stops her from fully pursuing Cat Noir is her feelings for Adrian. Like, I feel like a part of her, like I said before, will always still love Adrian, so a part of her will always kind of hold the rest of her back because of her feelings for Adrian. So I guess the moral of the story is her feelings are probably going to be basically all over the place the whole season until a reveal happens. But also, same thing kind of goes with Adrian. I probably won't get into the whole Adrianette, Adrian, Ladybug, Ladrian, all that kind of stuff in this video because it's mainly talking about just Marinette and her feelings for Cat Noir and stuff. But yeah, all I'm going to say in this video is I do think the same thing is going to happen with Adrian in like kind of a similar way, but different because there are different circumstances. 